Randy Orton has built his illustrious career on merciless in-ring offense and cunning strategies. The Viper is eager to slither to another win tonight. And on the other end is Edge, the master manipulator who wears his opponents down with hard-hitting offense, devious mind games, and insults you wouldn't share with a sailor. Uh, I'm blessing just remembering some of the things Edge has done to him. Can he end it quickly? Referee stops the count on the ropes. Breaker. Oh! Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Not looking good right now. Oh, crushing backbreaker. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. For a few years, Randy Orton brought his career to even greater heights by aligning with the authority as their personally appointed face of the WWE. Elbow smash! Watch this! Beautiful Northern Lights suplex. The beginning of the end. And no luck against Edge there. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. What are we going to see here? Hung up on the second rope. Neck breaker. Randy Orton feeling good about himself right now. Michael mentioned Randy Orton as the face of the WWE, given his long history aligning with Triple H. It made perfect sense for the game to give the Viper preferential treatment, main events, and a lengthy world title reign. Randy Orton looking to finish this one early. And Edge kicks out. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Right across the face. behind it. Randy Orton. No. The rated art superstar with a wicked spear. Into the pin attempt. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Close call. The quick reversal that Look at Edge here. He got out of the way. Randy Orton looking at this. An RKO from out of nowhere. The Viper strikes again. I love it. Edge is in a real bad spot. Well, the R and the rated R superstar stands for really. As in, he's really good. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Wait. What is, what is Orton doing? What is he thinking? Anything he wants. Oh, no. Oh, no! His opponent on the top row! Just doesn't appear to be Edge's night tonight. Momentum is fully in. Does he have it here? What a decisive victory for Randy. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. The World Heavyweight Champion is ready to defend his win. I don't think. I see an ounce of doubt in the champion. He absolutely believes he's leaving tonight with his title, Byron. Well, it would be hard to argue with him, Michael. I can tell by the way he entered the arena today that he was in a different kind of zone. The type of zone that only champions go to.
Oh, flipping the script on him there. And the Luthes press. Piston like rights. Oh, kick right to the gut. When it comes to entering competition, Drew McIntyre is a simple man. He just wants to see his opponent defeated. The focus and rage of McIntyre is really something to behold. Belly to belly! Vicious. Drew McIntyre has earned something of a reputation for his brutality in the ring. I think we can expect to see that ruthlessness on display here. Drew needs to utilize his unrelenting offense in this matchup. Brutality is a big part of that, Cole. If there's an opening in your defense, expect Drew to exploit it. He won't shy away from going after an injured limb to get the better of his opponent. KO punch! Tough spot to be in. Lariat! Picking up on that focus Michael mentioned, I don't think Drew McIntyre is even aware of anything happening outside the ring. The way he looks at his opponents, he's like a shark smelling blood and water. It's disconcerting. McIntyre looks at his opponents for what they are, victims. He's going to dismantle his opposition and then send them packing. Devastating elbow. And what a reversal from Drew McIntyre. Setting him up for the flatliner. Haymaker connects. Of course, Bobby Lashley's current run in WWE has been impressive, but let's not forget just how dominant he was during his initial time here. There wasn't a superstar on the roster he couldn't be. Kick out. He just powered out there, Cole. To Byron's point on Bobby Lashley's initial WWE run, he definitely beat some top names during that period. Guys like Mark Henry, The Big Show, and Booker T. Well, that list is pretty. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Hmm, I'm a little iffy on why that would be a good decision. The champ to the top turn. Look at this. Diving knee drop. McIntyre's just so dominant. Stringing together some big. McIntyre looking to close out this matchup. Now that is why there's a champ. Will Bobby Lashley be able to continue? And McIntyre will. Your winner. And still, the WWE. Look out, handicap action underway. Byron, we talk about the importance of strategy. What can you tell us about creating a game plan for a matchup like this? If you're on the wrong end of the numbers game, a superstar must find a way to limit the options of the other team. Try and eliminate some of your competition. No, which is why the outnumbered superstar can't waste any time going on the attack. Ooh, earth shattering spine buster. Yeah. Oh, the monster among men. Look at the power. Good Strowman. God. Man, Braun Strowman. What offense. Earth-shattering offense from Braun. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. And look at from a back suplex. Knee right to the gut. Speed running body press. Boom, right in the button. The Miz with a nice reversal. Beautiful suplex. Landing hard. Yeah, 
Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. He's so close to making the tag here, Corey. Yeah, but think of all the energy he's expending here, Cole. Able to get the tag. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Boom! Right between the eyes. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam! Look at Braun Strowman stalking him. Vice-like grip on the neck. Oh, this is incredible. Miz is in trouble. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. Down they go. He's got him covered. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. Apollo Crews going for it. Ooh Pretty. Finds a way to reverse. And again, yet another counter. Up and around. Oh, the old bangerang! Cover for the championship! Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Now it's not time for Cruz to meet defeat just yet. A striking blow. seems to have lost a step down. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Slips up. Apollo Crews has him up. The champ has this one in hand now. Two. Apollo Crews. It's all here is your winner. And still, the WWE United States. Apollo Crews! Jameis is always looking for a fight when he's on the warpath. You better clear the way, fella. And across the way is Jeff Hardy, an innovator in a WWE ring, a tag team legend, and a born risk taker. Jeff Hardy is willing to risk it all. That strategy can be foolish or demented or very, very rewarding. And here's Sheamus. Sheamus making a move. Now here's Jeff Hardy. Bang right in the face. about the things that make Sheamus such a feared competitor. One thing that drives the Dublin Ireland native is his short fuse. Sheamus is always looking to pummel someone. Three. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Back now inside the ring. Drop kick hits the mark. Looking to catch him off guard. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. Out of it in the corner. Sheamus shows us some clever offense here. Jeff Hardy is a competitor who's willing to put it on the line for the win. How do you counter an opponent with that single-minded drive? One of the downsides of relying on aerial offense is the setup leaves you open to attack. I say you let Hardy go for those daredevil maneuvers and then make him pay for it when he's at his most vulnerable. We've certainly seen Jeff crash and burn in the past, but that's never stopped him from taking risks again. Back suplex. Quick cover from Sheamus. And a kick out by Jeff Hardy. Well, it looks like the Daredevil wants to take a few more spills. Why not? A surprise reversal from Jeff Hardy. 
Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. What's coming next? A back suplex. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Punishing attack from the Celtic Warrior. The advantage is squarely in his corner. That's what you call a bad landing. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This price is starting to rock. <laughs> now Seamus making him pay. Setting him up for the Blackliner. There he goes. Jeff Hardy has something in mind. Another big move. One time bomb. That can certainly do it. Has Jeff Hardy proved. And Jeff Hardy's your winner. Here is your winner.